sustainable living has never been as easy as it is now because there's already a framework in place which is guiding us on how to live. That framework will refer to it as the Sustainable Development Goals, commonly known as the SDGs, and today we'll be talking about SDG number two, which is Zero Hunger. So food insecurity has become so prevalent, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, usually affecting most kids under the age of five years, which brings about chronic undernutrition, which uh, people refer to as stunted growth. So this puts kids at risk of getting common infections, increasing the frequency and severity of these infections, and also brings about delayed recovery. Automatically, this will impair the kids' schoolwork by reducing their work performance. So SDG number two, zero hunger, speaks about ending hunger in all its forms to achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. So this is basically to ensure that everyone has access to nutritious foods, which ultimately leads to a healthy lifestyle. So this goal promotes sustainable agriculture and functioning food markets. It also aims at improving the productivity and incomes of small-scale farmers by promoting equal access to land, technology and markets, sustainable food production systems and resilient agricultural practices. It also requires increased investments through international cooperation to bolster the productive capacity of agriculture in developing countries.